Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So today is Monday, September 18th and I am actually not in the middle of any books because last week I finished The Matchup and I also read Silver Nitrates. So, you know, I'm not in the middle of anything, but I do want to read the next book in the Live Sheep Traders trilogy, so The Sheep of Destiny, and I want to read some of the, like, my anticipated releases that have been released, but I haven't read, and the first one I want to get into is Antimatter Blues, which is the second book in the Mickey 7 series, and that's a science fiction series, and I really, really enjoy the first book that I read last year, so I am very excited to read that because I just love the main character. And I mean, I am very, very excited to read this as well because I loved the matchup and like the way it ended. I am so excited to get back into this world and get back to these characters. And yeah, I am just excited. I don't know if I am going to be able to read any more, I mean, I'm obviously not going to read this whole book because this is 903 pages, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to read more than like a little bit of this and Antimatter Blues because I am going to be at a friend's house from Friday to Sunday. So I basically only have four days to read and I mean Friday morning, I guess, but honestly, I'm not planning on reading that much on Friday morning. So yeah, I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done, but I am very excited for the books that I am planning on reading and welcome to the vlog. So it is Wednesday and I have finished the book. I mean, started and finished. I've read a book and that was Antimatter Blues. I honestly, like, I really wanted to get into this in the beginning of the week, but I was just so into that book that that was all I read. And so Antimatter Blues, I don't know if I said in my intro, is the second book in the Mickey 7 series duology. I think it's a duology. And they are science fiction books. And I read the first one last year. And basically, we were following a character called Mickey Seven. And he was an expendable, which means that they were like on a space exploration mission. They were going to like another planet. And he was the guy that had to do all the jobs that were necessary but deadly. And he basically, every time a version of him would die, a new Mickey would be created. So he was like the seventh Mickey. And basically they think that Mickey Seven has died in like one of the missions they have like on the planet they, that where they have settled. And so they create Mickey Eight. But then Mickey Seven turns out that, you know, he was not dead. And he makes it back to their station. And now there are two Mickeys, which is definitely forbidden and we see them as they navigate that situation and like I really really love Mickey 7 he was really funny he was really cool and I really didn't like Mickey 8 because they were supposed to be the same person but they kind of weren't they didn't have they didn't like fully have the same exact memories the same exact experiences like mostly yes but not exactly not fully and so they were slightly different and yeah I definitely loved Mickey 7 and did not really like Mickey 8 but anyway in this book we were following the aftermath of all of that and the way that they were also learning how to live with the other species that already existed on that planet and I really enjoyed it like I said I was so into that book I honestly thought it was like a new character that I loved so much and I love the friendship between them and Mickey Seven. It was really adorable. Honestly, it reminded me of, it was like very different, but it kind of reminded me of the friendship in Project Hail Mary, which is a book that I absolutely loved. And like the friendship there was like the main thing that made me really, really love that book. And so this one kind of reminded me of that 
like in a very different way, but it kind of reminded me. And I just, I love it so much. And there was actually a character that I don't remember. Like, I know that I didn't love them in the first book, but I didn't remember them annoying me this goddamn much. But they were just really annoying me, like a big chunk of the book. And I was just like, why do you exist? You know? So yeah, I don't remember if they were that annoying in book one. But anyway, that didn't really lessen my enjoyment of the book. I still really, really loved it. And, you know, it was very fast-paced. There was always action happening. I, like I said, really loved the new friendship, really loved the main character. They had a great time with it, and I gave it 4.5 stars. And honestly, that is everything that I have to update. I will hopefully, I, I intend to start this today. I... I'm so excited, like I said, to get back into this world because I still have so many questions and I also want to start another one of my anticipated releases that I haven't read yet and that is Blood Deaths. So I will be reading both of these. I will, I mean, I'll be reading this while I'm at home and my plan is to obviously start Blood Deaths while I'm at home, but also read it on the train on my way to meet my friend because I do have that on my e-reader and you know I'm not gonna take this chunker of a book with me but yeah I think those are the updates I will also watch the newest episode of Only Murders in the Building in a bit I think and I still have the episode of The Wheel of Time from last week to watch so I might watch that as well. I will either update you tomorrow or on Friday before I leave. So it is Friday and I have made it to page 303 of Sheep of Destiny and I am loving this book so much and we finally, like pretty much at the beginning of this book, we finally got the answers that I was waiting for since book one, but especially since book two, which was when a lot of things were revealed, but like not fully everything of how like something turns into something else and I finally have those answers and I am loving it so much and my favorite character is as usual suffering because I mean he wouldn't even be my favorite character if he wasn't suffering the whole time my favorite characters are always in pain and yeah he is not doing well he has pretty much like lost a friend in a way and I also really like the character that he lost it just you know it's painful but I am loving it. I am so invested and so excited to keep reading this, but I will not read any more of this until Sunday. And even on Sunday, like, I don't know if I'm gonna have the brain power to read more of this. But regardless, I am absolutely loving it. And last night I started Blood Dead. I'm only 11% in, and so I don't have many thoughts yet. But this is set in New Orleans, and we are following two twins who are... I don't really know how to say his name. 
Clement. That feels wrong, but I can't figure out like a better way to say his name. So Clement and Christine, but they call each other like Clem and Chris. So we're going to go with Clem and Chris. And we are following Clem and Chris. And they are both, like, they both have magic. They are both witches? Are they witches? Wizards? They're magical. And we know that their mom has been sick for a long time. She has been dying. And they, you know, are trying to figure out how to help her. They have, like, doctors. And then they find that she's actually not sick. She is cursed. And we also know that their father has died I don't know how long ago, but we know that he has died and it was because of the spell that Chris cast. Obviously, the goal was not to kill her dad, but there was a very unfortunate outcome. And so now she doesn't practice magic anymore, while her brother, Clem, he really, like, he loves magic. He loves practicing magic, but he's not as good as Chris was before she stopped. And obviously, I'm assuming now they're going to try to figure out who, you know, is trying to kill their mom and trying to code for their family and yeah I mean I don't have any more thoughts on that so far I am enjoying it I'm liking both of the characters they both seem very interesting and intriguing and yeah those are the reading updates I mean obviously I can't update much because I can't really talk about the plot of Sheep of Destiny because it's the third and last book in the trilogy and I haven't read much of Blood Deaths so don't have much to say but I just wanted to come here and give my reading updates before I left because I am about to leave for the train station. I mean, I'm actually going to have like lunch with my dad and he's going to take me to the train station and then I will be gone until Sunday. So I am planning on reading more of this on the train on the way there and hopefully on the way back if I am awake enough and not tired and yeah because i mean i am very intrigued with the premise obviously i was intrigued with the premise when i first read it because this was one of my anticipated releases but yeah those are the plans i still need to finish packing i have to leave in like five minutes and i haven't packed like i have stuff on top of my bed but nothing in my bag so i'm gonna do that i am gonna leave and i will I was going to say I'll probably talk to you on Sunday night, but there is really no point because I'll talk to you on Monday to finish the vlog. So I'll probably only talk to you on Monday to finish the vlog. So I'll talk to you then. Okay, so it is Monday again and I am here to wrap up the vlog. And I didn't make any more progress in Ship of Destiny. And honestly, I only got to 23% of Blood Deaths. So I didn't make that much progress either because... I mean, I read like on the train on the way there, but I only read like 50 pages. And then on the way back, I like was standing for an hour and I didn't feel like reading while I was standing up. So I only read 50 pages, but I am really enjoying it. And we got to know like the rival family of like the main characters that we're following. And we're actually following the POV of another person. Like, we are following Clem and Chris, but we are also following another person's POV. And I really don't like her. I mean, I don't think I am supposed to like her. But I just want to confirm that I don't like her at all. But I am really liking the book. I am really, like, intrigued and invested in what's happening. And I am very curious to also learn more about their magic. And... Yeah, I haven't gotten much further into it, but I am really enjoying it. And my friend actually lent me two books. And the first one is Perfume, which I know is like a historical fiction, horror, thriller, mystery kind of thing. And I am excited for that. But then he also gave me a romance book and he knows I don't like romance. He knows I don't read romance. So I guess he just wants to torture me which seems to be a theme with my friends so I don't know what that says about them or me and also we watched we went to the cinema to watch The Nun 2 which was really fun like, I feel like it was more like intense than the first one there were more like jump scares more like intense scenes than the first one the first one I felt like it was more I don't know if slow is the word but this one definitely felt more intense and it was definitely very fun. I really liked it. And we also finished the series that we have been watching, which is Fringe. And I am not okay 
with it. I mean, I'm not okay with the fact that we finished, but I'm not okay with the fact that, like, the way it ended for a character, I am not okay with that. I will never be okay with that. I will not accept that that happened. So there's that. That is pretty much everything that has happened. And to wrap up this vlog, basically, I read Antimatter Blues. I read 303 pages of Ship of Destiny and I read 96 pages of Blood Deaths and that gives me a total of 703 pages which is not really my goal but it's more than what I read last week and I was home less days so I am happy-ish with how much I read and I am definitely happy with what I read because I really enjoyed everything that I read and yeah, that is it. That is everything for this weekly reading vlog. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you have enjoyed it. And if you did, give it a like and subscribe. And I will talk to you next time. Bye!